There are ways when you're designing your form in Microsoft Word to make a particular form field mandatory. So if you have a required field that you need your users to fill in, that you don't wanna let them bypass that field without filling something in, there's a way to do that. And I'm gonna show you how in this video. Be sure and check out my playlist on my channel for creating fillable forms. All right. In this example, we're gonna use a benefit election form. And to create this form, I've used legacy tool form fields, and we're gonna work with the plain text form field here. Remember, if you don't have the developer tab enabled already, there's a quick video on my channel that explains how you can enable the developer tab. All right, the first thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna double, double click to open the text form field here. And we can either double click to open it or we can come up here to properties and open this window. This opens the text form field options where we have the ability under the bookmark section to label this form field. And so we're gonna label this form field last name and click okay. Then we also wanna make sure that the user fills in the first name form field. So we're gonna bookmark this one as well. So we can click there, click on properties, and under the bookmark section, we will call this first name. And click okay. Now that we have those labeled, what we're gonna do is go into Visual Basic and write some code in there that is going to make a window pop up for your end user when if they try to leave that form without filling it in, a window is going to pop up and prompt them to enter something into that form field. So what we want to do is come over here to your Visual Basic editor and I'm on my project here, my open document, and I've inserted a module by coming up to insert and I've inserted the first module. And in this first module, I'm using this code here. I'm gonna paste this code in the description below the video. So all you'll have to do is copy and paste it for your needs. And right here within these quotes, there are two places that you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you rename or relabel based on your customized needs, whatever you bookmark and label your form fields. So this one, I labeled my first form field last name. So that's what I put here in these quotes and I've also put it right here, down here in these quotes. This section of the code is something that you can also customize. You can, it can say whatever you need it to say. So I've chosen for it to say, this field is required, please fill in below. And that's what it, the message that's gonna say in the pop-up window if the user tries to exit that field before filling it in. All right, now we know that we wanted to create this macro to run when someone tries to leave that form field, and that's the last name form field, but we also wanted to make the first name form field mandatory as well. So we inserted a second module, and what we're gonna do is copy that same code and paste it over here, and we're gonna rename those labels. We're gonna, because we labeled that field first name, so we're gonna relabel it there, and we're gonna relabel it right here. And we're gonna click Save. All right, come over here and minimize your screen. And so then what we wanna do is come back into the properties of both of these form fields, and we are going to, under the section where it says Run Macro on Exit, we are gonna select that Module 1, Filling in Form, for Must Fill In, and click OK. And then here on the first name properties, we're gonna open that up and do the same thing. We're gonna select the module two, must fill in and click okay. So now we have set that up so that when we restrict the form for filling in forms, the user will have to fill something into those form fields. All right, so I'm gonna come up here to restrict editing. Number two is checked for filling in forms and we're gonna say yes, start enforcing protection. I'm not gonna put a password right now since we're just testing the form. I'll click okay. So now the form is locked and ready for your users to start filling it in. And one thing, um, what we'll notice is that when you start to tab through the different form fields, we're gonna come up to the last name form field. And if we just hit tab and try to bypass that field, we're gonna get prompted with our pop-up window. And it says, this field is required, please fill in below. So this is where that macro is running and it's prompting your user to fill something in. So I'm gonna say, oh yeah, I need to fill that in. I'll put my last name and click okay. And then that automatically fills in the last name form field that the, that the user needs is required to fill in. Now, same thing with the first name. If we hit tab and try to go to the next form field, that same window is gonna pop up again and make us fill in our first name. 
So we'll fill in our first name and click OK. And there we go. Those are now required form fields that your user can't bypass that they do have to fill in. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up to like it. You can subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com. Remember, I'm going to post the code that you'll need in the description below the video. If you have any comments or questions, be sure and leave them in the comments section. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.